All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rabakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Now, going into the scripture here, Heritage Part 1. Okay. There is a scripture that I want to get. I'm on the other phone. I got the scriptures on the other phone. But there is a scripture that I want to get. Well, there is a couple scriptures actually that I want to get and go into where the Lord tells you that he would not forsake it, it, it you know his inheritance okay he would not forsake us okay but you got these individuals out there that have you know through the through the workings of the vocab vo <laughs> how the brothers say it vocabians okay <laughs> they think that anybody else could just loop into that inheritance you know you can't it's not for you, okay? It's only for Israelites. It's, it's not this um, thing where you can just hand it off and pass it off, and in the future you're born as an Israelite, and next, you know, you're born as a uh, Elamite. No, it doesn't work like that, okay? You're of your nation, okay? And the Lord has his nation, who he chose out of the whole world, and gave them. You know, all the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Gave him his word, gave him the, gave, basically gave them the all, you know, everything. So they have the inheritance with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, not the rest of the world, okay? Now let me go into this scripture real quick Psalms 94 and verse 14. For Yahweh will not cast off his people, okay? Let me show you right there, the Lord has a people. For Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Okay? And that's right, the Lord is not going to um, throw us aside. Okay? Remember, he, he spoke it. Okay? It was his words, his commandments. So it shall be done. Okay? And if he says he has a people, that's it. He has a people. Okay? Now, going into the scripture, where I touched on in this uh, heritage for our wound, it was in uh, Baruch chapter 5, or chapter 4, and verse 3, around verse 3 or 4, that I went to a scripture in Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach chapter 49, and I'll get it real quick, Sirach chapter 49 and verse uh, 5. Therefore he gave their power unto others and their glory to a strange nation. Now, when you're reading from the um, beginning of this, okay, you can see what, what, what it's talking about, okay? So now, somebody would read that scripture and you see, you see, you can join in others. But the Lord clearly told you, he said he will not give his honor or his glory onto another okay but you have individuals out there such as the vocabulary the vo <laughs> how did the brother say it? the vocabians okay that will step up and try to say something else let's lock it one second try to get this uh This thing up here. Okay, so let's go on to. Uh, I wanted to go into the scripture real quick. I'm gonna just actually. I'm gonna just keep that. Well, you know what? Let me just get it. Isaiah chapter forty-eight and verse eleven. For my, for my sake, for mine own, from my own sake, even for my own sake. Will I do it? For how, for how shall my name be polluted? And I will not, see, I will not give my glory unto another. Okay. 
The Lord is telling you right there, look. He's not going to give what was, you know, um, directed onto um, Jacob, you know, onto Israel, right? He's not going to give that onto another nation to partake in, to glor have their glory in, okay? To say that, you know, they're of, um, how do you call it? They're of that, uh, uh, um, Slakia, that election, okay? Or better yet to say that they can join in or convert, okay? No, these other nations can't join in, nor can they convert, okay? So let's go into that word glory right here. I want to go in real quick. Go into the etymology and type it up. You can see it for yourself. Okay, it goes into worldly honor, splendor, you know, um, fame, great praise, okay, honor, right? So you can understand that the Lord kicked us off of our um, high seat, okay? Kicked us, kicked us off of that. Um, how you, a good way to put it is just a high seat, okay? And we got knocked down and reduced to damn near rubble, okay? When you go into Lamentation, I think it's chapter 2. Verse 15, all that walk by, they hiss and whack their head. That glory has been taken from us, okay? And look at the condition that we're in now, okay? But who is that glory really for? Yashar Allah. It's not for these other nations. Remember, it tells you in Daniel chapter, Daniel chapter 4, 17, that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. He set one up take one down that that's uh what the most high does right so and we ourselves can't push ourselves to that position to say yeah we we gonna do this or we gonna do that we know this is the will of the father so it was written that we had to be you know taken down brought into this low position and brought back up for what to appreciate what we're gonna get okay you don't just hand a kid some fucking Mercedes keys and say, yeah, go out there and drive. No, he's got to earn that, okay? Even though we, 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 we were his chosen, he chose us to go through that to earn it, okay? Simple as that. And on top of that, remember, this is a refining process, okay? So let's go into um, a couple scriptures that I want to get. Um, numbers no Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 20 but Yahweh have taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace even out of Egypt to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are as ye are this day okay I mean I could close the book right there but you know how we go. Let's overkill it. Let's cook it. Make sure it's well done. Right? So, let me read that one more time. If that slipped the vocab... the uh, How'd the brother put it again? <laughs> the vocabians. <laughs> if that slipped you plantation Christian vocabians. If that slipped your mind. Let me read it one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 20. But Yahweh have taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace even out of egypt to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day okay so as you can see this ain't talking about um uh this ain't talking about no ishmaelites this ain't talking about moab this ain't definitely ain't talking about esau or edom okay Who's this talking about? This is talking about Yashar Allah, his people, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 32, and this this will concrete the fact. I mean, we could keep closing the book after all these scriptures here, but like I said, we fucking cook it, cook it well, man. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 9. For Yahweh's portion is his people, 
Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Right there, close the book. Forget it. Zin. So back to uh, Psalms 94 and verse 14. The Lord said that he will not, he's not going to cast off his inheritance. Switch it up. Was that Numbers 23 and 19? That, that, that man's a liar, not God. Okay. Not Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Man and woman, they lie about every damn thing. You could ask them, you dropped that just now? Uh, and out of fear, they'll tell a lie. Oh, no, I didn't drop nothing. I seen it just drop. Fucking liar. Numbers 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. And you, you see that right there? Why you fucking so-called black women? <laughs> the nigga woman... You see, the nigga woman... She go put that on her Instagram account or some fucking Twitter or some shit. You see? You see? God is not a man that he should lie. Why doesn't it say a woman? <laughs> oh, man. Eve out there is fucked up, man. But we know they're the weaker vessel, so... Numbers chapter 23 and verse uh, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he... Oh, right there. The, the, shit. Slack it. Right there to say, see? See? He teaches it all to his son. You know? <laughs> That's how these, these uh, two-thirds think, man. You'll read that scripture there and they'll say, see? See? That's all about man because, look, it's talking about the son next. And they say no daughter, you know. But when it's speaking about man here in the scriptures, it's, 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 it's in that terminology, it's talking about mankind, okay? All of man, okay? All of mankind, okay? God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good see that's why we put our trust into Yahweh Shem Yahushai okay we know he's not a liar he's not going to switch up his word okay he's not going to say you know what forget it everybody can come in right now no so let's get back into these scriptures here Oh, slack, yeah. Go to Psalms chapter 33 and verse uh, 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is Yahweh. Forget it. Close the book right there. Okay. Because when you go into Psalms chapter uh, 144 and verse 15, you damn near find the same thing. You know. Blessed is that people whose God is is Yahweh. Blessed is that people who, who is in such a case. Okay, roughly phrasing. So when you when you go into that word God, remember it goes into the power. Okay. So when you read it, it says, Blessed is the nation whose Slakia. I mean it said that nation before, but Slakia. Blessed, blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh, okay, and the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. That's it. Forget it, man. And and who who is that people? That people is Yashar Allah, okay, Israelites. He's not gonna switch it up and say, you know what, Moab, you could, all right, fine, Moab, you could come, you could come in, Elam. You're a little bit dark too, so you know you you could join in. You know the Hamites. All right, so let's, all right. You know what? Esau, Edom, you too. Everybody could come in. That's that fucking wicked plantation Christian bullshit. Okay. Um, let me go into another one. Psalm 74 and verse 2, Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast, hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, 
wherein thou hast dwelt. That's it, man. You know? That's it. You guys can't pull the wool over our eye. We already know. Okay? You're fucking liars. Let's go into another scripture here. We'll go into uh, probably like another ten, five quick scriptures we get over. Psalms chapter 78 and verse 62. He gave, he gave his people over also unto the sword and was wroth with his inheritance. Yes, because like I said, when you go into Baruch chapter 4, you can understand it. Well, he's telling, um, you know, the basically the elect of Jacob, okay, of Israel, to take hold of that light and walk therein, okay. But the main point, why he was wroth with us, we went off, okay. We went off. We went off serving other gods. Baruch four and six, okay. So going into this, uh, Psalm seventy, Psalms, chapter seventy-eight and verse seventy-one. From following, from following the e, the e is great, with young he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. Okay. So, once again, come on, man, you, you, you can't, there's no way you can jump around this, okay? Psalms uh, 106 and verse 40, therefore was the, therefore was the wrath of Yahweh kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance, okay? Remember in Jeremiah chapter uh, 17 and verse 4? Even thou, thou shalt discontinue from that inheritance. Baruch chapter 4. You get a, 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 a understanding. The Lord said what? Be of good cheer. You know, he sent us off because we were wicked. But don't worry, he's, you know, he's going to return us on, 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 on to Salakia. Okay. Um, t -t 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 Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 16 The portion of Jacob is not like them For he is the former of all things And Israel is the rod of his, the rod of his inheritance Yahweh of hosts is his name Okay Come on man I mean what are you, what are you, what are you guys going to say after that You know some some bullshit you gotta come up with, you know. But going back to the main point in this, the Lord said that He's not gonna cast us off. And let's actually just go into Baruch chapter four. I'm gonna finish off there. Don't wanna make it too long, you know. But all things on to edification, see, okay. Baruch chapter four, and this is you know. This is what happened to us. Baruch chapter 4 and verse uh, 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved God to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. Verse 7. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not God. Okay. So that's why we, you know, he was wroth with this inheritance. We went off doing stupidness. So I say, yeah, don't worry, I, you know, I'm going to whoop you up, I'm going to put these nations over you, you know, all of them going, everyone going to have a piece of you, I think that's in um, 1st Maccabee chapter 2 and 10, okay, all these other nations going to get a, a, a good bite out of you, you know, uh, Baruch chapter 4, and verse, starting from 23rd verse, I'm going to, you know what, um, I'm going to end off in the 25th verse. <coughs> Slack, yeah. Damn, am I. Or maybe I should end off in the 27th verse. You know what? Let's just uh, 
jump into it. Baruch 4 and uh, 23. For I sent you out with mourning. Who? Who did he send out with, 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 with that mourning? He sent all us Israelites. When you read up again, going back to Baruch 4 and um, 6, okay? We were doing things that we ought not to do, okay? So going back into this, for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but God will give will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Okay. So let, let me let me jump to the just let me just jump straight to the scripture here. Verse twenty five for my children uh Salakia, my children suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from God for thine enemy have persecuted thee but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck okay and that's what we're hoping for that's what we're waiting for you know until Yahweh Shem Yahweh returneth doing this work okay being steadfast in what we have learned you know what I mean what we're supposed to be doing walking in the spirit right so we know that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to come, gather his elect, okay, and do this mighty work. But the main main point, going back to this, the Lord said that he's not going to cast off his people. He's not going to say, you know what, everybody can mix and mingle, all, all this shit, you know. Whoever believes in Yahweh Hamashiach, that he came in flesh, everybody, no, not in the Oikamina sense, no. In the cosmos sense, anybody of that world, okay. So, Lord didn't, Lord didn't come and just dash Israel to the side and say that's it, that that whole foundation, that whole inheritance, and all of that's done away with. If you could serve me, you could serve me. I don't care if you're a mouse. I don't care if you're Edomite. I don't care if you're a um, Moabite. No, the Lord never said that. Okay, man's a liar. Remember, man's a liar. Right? Well, man and woman, let's just say it like that, <laughs> is a liar. Right? And what the Lord has said in these scriptures, that's it. It's concrete. They wish they could, like Wikipedia, they wish they could go in there and just change shit up. But you can't. Okay? It's, it's too far gone. Okay? <laughs> and with that, you know, I'm going to title this one again. Uh, maybe I might change the title the title to um Lord has not cast away his people or the Lord has not cast away his inheritance. But uh maybe I you know what, Slocky, I'll just keep it as heritage part two, you know. So with that Akim, I hope you're edified and add on man. If you got a video, you know, that you wanna do on this as well, put it put it in the put it in the um comment section so I can watch it. And hey, maybe the the spirit might make me do another video about it going, you know. Hey, Matthew chapter 10 and 20, okay? It's not our words. It's the Father. we just vessels, okay? We were bought with a price. So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostle, elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim, I hope you're edified. Wa Abad Babal.